Horrible House, Episode 9 Author Name, M. Aishwarya Coming back to the room of Harsh Girl What did you do then? Harsh Either give money or do an errand for them The errand of finding a variant Girl You found a variant for them? Harsh I had to find a variant of a girl for a father and a mother. They had lost their only daughter to online blackmailing. Girl, how did you find the variant? Harsh, here a bit of modification was done. The girl of an underprivileged family was arranged and given to the family having the requirement. Girl, and then? Harsh. The consultant took my data and uh, contacted the variant of Jolly that I had glanced at in the cafe. What to tell about the variant? A total game addict. The consultant chatted with the variant. Girl, the consultant or the club chatted with the variant? Because you do not know how to talk on a date. Harsh, and that cannot be called a fallacy. Girl, you need to know how to talk in a way that the girl will have interest in you on a date. Harsh, but uh, of what use? Girl, what do you mean? Harsh, you had left home for a tutorial. You never went to the tutorial and went to another location just to meet a certain man. You had gone for a date and... Girl, raising her hand to object. Do not remind me. Just go on with your narration. Harsh. They used my data to get a cell phone number and then used it to chat with the variant. Girl. How did they get her number? Harsh. No idea. They have their method to get data. They did the chatting on my behalf. Girl. I get it now. The messaging to me. The thought it was all you. I thought it was all you. Never thought a team will be chatting with me. Harsh, a team to chat with a girl. Girl, a variant of Jolly. Harsh, agreed. Variant of the girl named Jolly. Girl, but do you think it to be right to make a team impersonating an individual to have an online talk with a girl? Harsh, teamwork. Girl, weird. Harsh. Could I continue with the narration? Girl. Go ahead. Harsh. The variant did not come for the meeting. The variant changed her contact number. I was told about it. I asked for another attempt on another variant. Girl. And here I am. Harsh. The Neptune Club got your detail. I do not know how they got it. Girl. They forced me to travel all the way to you. Harsh. I became adamant to meet a variant of Jolly. Girl. What to do? My bad luck. I left home in the name of attending tutorial. I never went there. I went with my friend Circle to the cinema. From there the male companion. Well, you know the rest. I never thought I would be making a mistake. Whatever happened that day changed my life. I began to remain depressed because I was getting chat messages from unknown numbers with each of them blackmailing me for a body contact. Harsh, then what happened? Girl, I had been living on with the blackmailing. I would leave home giving certain excuse without telling anyone about where I would be going. I would be going to the location mentioned by the blackmailer for... Harsh, no need to mention. Girl, then one day, the message came from you. I thought again it was a blackmailing message. And I am here. Harsh, why were you angry on me for uploading the images with you? Girl, I have been avoiding online media activity after that day when that thing happened with me. You have uploaded the moments that you had with me. I do not know how will my family react after watching them. I do not know how will those creeps that had been blackmailing and abusing me react. Harsh, I am deleting all the uploaded content. I had uploaded the content for Jolly. 
girl why to make her feel envy on you harsh kind of the girl had humiliated me i thought how would jolly react on watching me with a girl resembling her girl you miss her a lot harsh i uh, i had an infatuation for her back then i never wanted anything unpleasant to happen i do not know why the events went that way jolly had to open my bag and give the material and then yell at me i wish it had not happened at all girl it is life you have to live with it even my decision to bunk the tutorial class and move with my friend circle was an accident that day an accident that has turned life into a nightmare for me there is the noise of the alarm clock harsh looks at the time by the wall clock harsh taking a deep breath it is really getting late at night harsh lay on the bed girl as you told i am going to the other room i am leaving by morning harsh jolly girl thinking for a moment tell me i am listening harsh thoughtfully the consultant had told the right thing i need to begin to live in the current time i cannot change that hurtful day girl anything further you want to tell i have to go to the other room harsh could you be with me here girl you want me to be on the bed with you harsh no no you are getting it wrong just be here beside me just lay here the girl lay on the bed beside harsh harsh put his right hand on the left hand on the girl the girl closes her eyes expecting certain advances from harsh the girl opens her eyes after few minutes and looks to her clothes the clothes are as they were the girl looks at harsh harsh is asleep with his hand holding her hand the girl holds the hand of harsh that is on her hand and takes it off from her hand girl you miss jolly a lot i do not know why boys like you are born to live with this kind of cruel fate we girls like the macho kind while your type keep living with a hurt the girl lay beside harsh caressing the head of the boy the next day harsh and the girl are lying on the bed a cell phone is ringing the ring stops the cell phone rings again the girl who is it disturbing in the morning the girl looks at her cell phone and finds her cell phone is not ringing the girl looks at the cell phone of harsh which is on the table the girl walks up to the cell phone on the table the girl looking at harsh harsh you have a call the girl tries to wake harsh girl moves the blanket that covers harsh harsh talking while asleep allow me to rest harsh rolls on the bed covering his face with the blanket the cell phone rings again the girl tries to receive the call the caller a loud female voice is this harsh the girl does not tell anything the female voice over the call in an angry tone remaining quiet after receiving the call is not going to help you are you listening the girl making her voice deep trying to impersonate a male tone who are you the female caller i am jolly why have you uploaded edited images of me with you about the author m aishwarya fondly called maverick aishwarya by his friends is a prolific writer he is currently working as a manuscript writer for movie making